The question is, how many bonds, how many chemical bonds can carbon form, the element carbon? And we're talking about covalent bonds, where the electrons are shared between atoms, which is mainly how carbon forms chemical bonds. In order to figure that out, we need to know how many valence electrons carbon has in its highest energy level. And the periodic table can help us do that. Group 1 here, these all have one valence electron. Group 2, they have two. Skip the transition metals. Group 13 has three, and group 14, sometimes called 4A, that has four valence electrons. Right here is carbon. So carbon has four valence electrons. So if we think about methane, CH4, carbon's bonded to four hydrogen atoms. And here's why. Each carbon, it has four valence electrons. So here's our carbon, we have one, these four valence electrons. Hydrogen, it's in group one, it only has one valence electron. So it's going to share with the carbon. So now we have a pair of electrons. That's a covalent bond, a pair of electrons shared between two atoms. So at CH4, we're going to have four hydrogen atoms around the carbon, and they're all going to share a valence electron. So now carbon is sharing a valence electron with each hydrogen. Each hydrogen is sharing a valence electron with carbon. And this is a very stable molecule because Carbon has eight valence electrons. That's an octet. Hydrogen only needs two to be stable. So this is the structure for methane, CH4. And we can see that carbon forms four covalent bonds. We can replace this pair of electrons with a line. And that's also the same thing. That's a chemical bond. So again, carbon can have four covalent bonds. But what about double and triple bonds? So here, with carbon dioxide, the carbon, it's sharing a pair of electrons with an oxygen here and the same over here. Each of them have eight, so they have octets. This is very stable. We could also write this this way. So does carbon have four bonds here? One, two, three, four. So it has four bonds. Carbon, again, it can have four bonds. It can have double bonds. It can even have a triple bond. This is acetylene, and we can see carbon here, 1, 2, 3, 4. This carbon here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So carbon forms four covalent bonds. Let's look at a more complicated molecule, aspirin. So here's the molecular model for aspirin. The reds, those are oxygen, the whites are hydrogen, and the carbons are the black or gray. So how about this carbon right here? Does it have four bonds? One, two, three, four. How about this one right here? It has one, two, three, four. And any of these carbons that you look at here, they're going to have four bonds. Let's go back. This is Dr. B looking at the number of covalent bonds for carbon. The answer is four. Thanks for watching.